Hey guys, it's Sam with The Blind Life. Welcome back to the channel where I help you learn how to live your best blind life. Did I just hit the microphone? I think I did. <laughs> In this video, we're taking a look at some of the newest assistive technology that I saw at conferences so far this year. As always, be sure to like the video and make sure you're subscribed to the channel because I put out content just like this every single Saturday. If you have any questions for me or you want to discuss some of the things you saw in the video, I encourage you to leave me a comment down below. Or if you'd like to see more content like this, definitely check out the playlists on my YouTube channel where you can find a lot more stuff like this. But all right, enough about that. Let's jump into the video and I will see you in the next one. Hi guys, my name is William. I'm one of the founders of the OCO application. We use artificial intelligence to make every pedestrian traffic light accessible for blind and visually impaired people. The way that we do that is we look at the pedestrian head and we bring that information back to the user in three types of feedback. First, there's visual screen overlay. Second, there's vibrations. And third, there's audio. It will be fast ticking for the walk signal, slow ticking for the don't walk signal, and an intermediate ticking for the countdown. That way we bring that information back in a very intuitive way. The application runs locally on the phone, so that means no Wi-Fi or cellular connection required. And we do not require any physical adaptations to the traffic light. That means that just every traffic light can become accessible for blind and visually impaired people. Very easy, we all usually recommend hold it up at chest level, do kind of like a rotational uh, 10 to 15 degrees with your chest. The moment we see that pedestrian head, we instantly react. And that kind of also gives you an extra sense of orientation because you know that's going to be the direction that I'm going in. It actually also helps some people to stop them from veering off into traffic. And that way you can easily get across the intersection and get to your destination. Application is called OKO, o -K -O, and it's available to download for free on the App Store. Good morning. We're really excited to be here. And one of the most exciting things we've had at the show is our brand new product. And we now have an iPad solution which is awesome. We have two solutions. We have an all-in-one unit. And this particular one, you might recognize the camera because it is our camera from the actual tab. Anybody that has their own iPad that works with iOS 15 or higher is ready to roll. And you might recognize the actual interface at the bottom, the plus, minus. You, of course, and also can pinch and zoom. And everything with the iPad is, con is connected um, via Wi-Fi because you can't plug a camera in. And so you do have the ability to change cameras. You have the ability to have up to three cameras at one time because the iPad has two cameras. And then we have our distance camera that does distance document and self viewing. We also have another solution that allows you if you're using one of our other products that you already have to utilize your Magnolic S, your Pro or the Zip. And that particular product is similar. You're gonna use your own iPad, but you're utilizing the other camera. So again, if we wanted to zoom in, zoom out, you wanna to change to, I've got now both cameras. I've got the backward facing camera of the iPad and then our camera. And then you can say, I want one full screen. You can change how you um, actually split the screen and you can change the size of the split because you might want one longer than the other. Thank you for coming by to get more information on any of our products. Please reach out to Kimberly Klein at 702-468-6611 or you can email me at Kimberly.Klein, which is C-L-I-N-E at lviamerica.com. Hi, and welcome to the American Printing House for the Blind. My name is Betsy Ann Huggins. I'm the Engagement and Training Specialist, and I'm here today to talk about Poly. Poly is an early learning Braille device for students. Uh, it combines all of the major ways that students learn Braille and write Braille. So starting at the top left corner, it has two jumbo cells of Braille that are really fun uh, for students. One of the games on the device is Whack-A-Braille, where students pop down the dots just like you would in whack-a-mole. 
On the right hand side, we have a standard braille display with six cells. Below that is a Perkins style keyboard for students to practice their typing. And below that, my favorite feature is a refreshable slate so students can practice their writing skills. Polly teaches students grade one through grade two Braille and is partnered with a learning management platform called Helios. Teachers are able to assign games, lessons, and activities to students to complete on their Polly. It tracks student progress, alerts teachers if there's any issues with a student learning, if they're forgetting a dot combination or a letter, and also tracks how many hours they're working on it, so no more lying about homework. And finally, teachers can customize vocabulary lists to send to the Poly so students can use this to learn their vocabulary for all of their other core curriculum classes like math, science, and history. Visit us at aph.org uh, to learn more about Poly and our other products. Hi, I'm Michelle Melkin and I'm with Logic Keyboard. And today I'm here to talk to you about our accessible keyboards. We have an entire lineup from large print to braille to dyslexia keyboards. Uh, you can see behind me that we have two different lines. One that is large print with, that's a full size keyboard with the number pad. They are wired keyboard and they come with a logic light. We also have a Bluetooth version that's been very popular for us. Um, and they come in three different contrast colors, um, white on black, black on yellow, as well as black on white. Some of our newest keyboards are our Braille lineup of keyboards. Here we have a Braille that has no large print. And we also have a large print with Braille that is really great for uh, terminals that may be used at libraries where multiple people um, are using them. So a sighted person, a blind person, and even a low vision person. So one keyboard uh, that is accessible for everyone. We also have brand new Bluetooth keyboards. Last year, we brought the, the full size keyboard with us in Braille and we heard a lot of great feedback. And so we've created the Bluetooth keyboard. The last keyboard we have that's brand new for us is our dyslexia keyboard. It's being used as a learning tool for those that have dyslexia. It's been created with dyslexia font and it has color coding um, on the vowels and the consonants just like a learning board might be as well as has the soft colors that are great contrasts for those with dyslexia. Again, I'm Michelle Malkin with Logic Keyboard, and you can reach me at www.logickeyboard.com. Hi, everyone. Uh, so my name is Charles Leclerc. I am the CEO of ARX Vision, and today I would like to demo you two of our products. The first one is called ARX Q, uh, and it is a document scanner that, unlike other document scanners, uh, which will linearly read a whole document to you until you get the information you want, with Q, you can ask a question about yes. the document. So here I've got this food menu, and what I'm going to do is scan it with the ARX app, the ARX Q app. So the AI assistant has scanned the, the document and is now giving me a summary of it. Now I'm going to ask if there's a vegan option on the menu. Is there a vegan option and how much does it cost? So it tells me that there was an impossible burger on the menu, which is at the end, and I just got that information immediately. And so that's demonstrating the power of AI uh, for reading documents. So that's what's interesting about Q. And so, but I still need to be holding my phone in front of me to scan the document. And so this is where the ARX headset come into play. The ARX headset has two bone connection speakers and a camera. And when I wear it, I can connect it to my smartphone and I can launch the app. I can log the phone. 
and benefit from the power of AI and computer vision right into my ear without having to interact with the phone. So the phone is locked. And what I can do is uh, say, read the documents. So the document is now scanned, and you see you can't hear what I'm hearing. So that's ARX, the, it's a software and hardware, and uh, if you would like to know more, don't hesitate to go on our website, arx.vision or www.arx-q.com. Thank you very much. Hi, welcome to Fieldum. We're a small company based in Seoul, South Korea, but we provide bags for the blind and low vision to people all around the world. Our new stuff is this cane pouch. Uh, we got this new city block with 16 pockets. We have our little crossbody bag with high definition colors and our original medium and large bags for athletics and hiking and school and business. Whatever you have, Fieldum makes it in the highest quality possible. Hope you come by and visit our website, www.fieldomlife.com, fieldomlife.com. Hi, my name is Eldin. We're at the Sony booth again, which is really great. Uh, last year, we showed a really cool product development that we were working with uh, QD, uh, QD Laser and Sony. And this year, we actually have the model that's going to be coming to market. So we're going to be selling a kit. It's called the HX99 RNV Retinal Projection Kit. And what it includes is our HX99 Ultra Compact uh, High Zoom Camera. This is a 24 to 720 and the viewfinder, uh, the laser viewfinder. Once you put this together, you pop that in, you screw this down, you plug the cable in the bottom. I have one turned on here already. This is the little kit that you can carry around with, you walk around with. It's fantastic for being able to see road signs, be able to navigate the world, read up close. I can also use it for photography and videography. I've got a uh, very high powered zoom. I can literally see things across the, the hall over here, read uh, uh, signs or even read something that's on the booth far down the other side. And essentially what this does is it doesn't work for absolutely everybody, uh, but it works for a number of different conditions and projects a laser image directly onto the retina. It bypasses the optics in the front of the eye. So it doesn't matter if you need to have corrective glasses or lenses. Uh, you have um, the cellular damage on the back of eye. For instance, I have macular degeneration. As long as my retina is intact, I have an opportunity to be, be able to use this. And it projects a laser image, it scans it essentially like a projection directly onto my retina. So now if I look through this, I see much clearer than I would normally see because I'm getting a, a, an image going directly to my retina, to my brain. Um, I can also even read the fine uh, print on the actual uh, menus and settings, which is pretty amazing. Downside is it doesn't work for everybody. So what we really want people to do is try it before you buy it. We also have a really robust return policy so that if you do buy it, you can return it, but we prefer that you go out and try it before you buy it. We are going to be showcasing this at our DMPC, which is our digital motion picture uh, center in LA. Plus, we're also talking to a bunch of lighthouses. It should be available uh, late summer, uh, and it should be in the market at about $600. So Sony is actually doing a lot of funding to bring this to market uh, well under what it costs us to actually produce. So that's it. This is the HX99 uh, RNV la uh, retinal laser projection. Uh, you can go and uh, hit the notify me button on electronics.sony.com if you look it up. I have another really cool device that I use all the time that I want to show you. So Sony has a really premium line of Xperia smartphones. What I like using this for is that it has an incredible 4K HDR OLED display, so a really big six and a half inch display. What I always wanted is why can't I use this on my uh, camera as an external monitor? And now you can. You can attach your Xperia directly to your camera. I have it with an HDMI cable going into a USB converter over here, so HDMI to USB. You could also go USB to USB. And then I launched the external monitor application. So here, it gives me the full ability to be able to see what my camera is seeing, as you can see there. I can also pinch to zoom. That doesn't change the framing that I have on the camera. What that's doing is it's just gonna allow me to see 
what the camera's seeing. It gives me that confidence that I know that I'm aiming at the right thing. If I touch on here, you see it brings up some other menus. I have things like uh, waveform monitors, so I can go with different waveforms. I've got false color depending on if I'm a professional videographer and I'm shooting in a maybe like a, a LUT, for instance, like an S log. Um, I can also live stream directly from the camera. So now I can use a professional grade mirrorless camera, use my 4K Xperia as a uh, external monitor, and I can use the Wi-Fi or the 5G network that I have on my, uh, my, my cell plan, and I can essentially live stream directly to my YouTube channel. So a lot of really big benefits. The biggest benefit is this usually costs less than what professional monitors cost. It's six and a half inch, twice more than twice the size of my regular monitor and it fits in my pocket and, and it's a smartphone at the same time it's my, my daily driver in terms of my smartphone this is a fantastic resolve one other thing I wanted to show you is when I actually go to my menu I can now bring my menu up which is huge for me to be able to read this and I can even zoom in even more into that to, to be able to uh, see my menu so really really great features so as always uh, Sony has a number of different uh, sites if you're looking at buying a Sony product please visit electronics.sony.com for more information about everything Sony www.sony.com and of course with our cameras make sure you check out alphauniverse.com Hi, we are ScanMarker and we provide a pen reader for uh, help users with low visibility read uh, printed text such as books, letters and newspaper and so on. The device, it's a pen reader, the handheld device that you just hold it simply as a pen and you pass it over the book. Connected with a computer or a mobile, you can listen what it says and how, what is the printed text. Um, and I'm going to show you a little bit of demonstration. So here I have the pen reader in my hand and I have a, a book here. You can use the pen reader with a ruler or without a ruler. There you go. He did not know how the world is simplified for kings to them. Men are subjects. I'm going to use it now without the ruler. You but the animals. And naively she showed her four thorns. You can use it simply also scanning from uh, printed boxes and materials. For example, if you are on the go. There you go. I just can here. Is this package included? Package includes. This is the way it works. It comes with the ruler and the scanner. Once the scanner is connected with a mobile or a computer, you can customize the speed of reading or the voices. We have different voices available, up to eight voices in, in English. You can scan in 100 languages and translate in 100 languages. You can also customize the size of the text. You can make it bigger, smaller. You can customize the font, the background of the font, so you can have a better contrast, or the line spacing and the word spacing. And in that way, the user can see and can read in a, in a format that it's easier for them. And also, you can upload documents in Word or PDF to see it in the same format. You can purchase directly on our website or on Amazon store. Canmarker.com, S-C-A-N-M-A-R-K-E-R.com. C-O-M. Hey, this is Jim Sullivan with the American Printing House for the Blind. I'm here with Don Wilkinson uh, with the Kentucky School for the Blind, and we're taking a look at uh, our newest product, the Monarch, which is a collaboration between Humanware, APH, and the National Federation of the Blind. Uh, what's unique about this device is that it features 32 characters by 10 lines. It's really designed to provide kids with access to textbooks, allow them to be able to uh, write braille, uh, be able to communicate, do research on the internet. And Dawn right now is looking at a tactile graphic and uh, she's getting a 30,000 foot view of that tactile graphic and it's an atom. If she wants to take a look at that graphic with one finger, she can double tap and it'll zoom in there. Let's try that again, just one finger. Oh, whoops. There you go. There we go. So she double taps and as she comes in, she can see the rings of that atom and how it's been labeled. And this is a tactile graphic that was created by one of our tactile graphic artists at APH. 
So here she's looking at the atom, and if she wanted to, the idea is she could multitask and move out to maybe an editor where she can take some notes about the atom. She could go out to a web browser and do a little research about the atom. Or if she was doing something for a science or math class, she could even jump into a braille file and take some notes that she'd be able to reference at a particular point in time. 32 refreshable braille cells by 10 lines. Uh, featuring technology from uh, Dot, uh, who is a partner of our partner at Humanware. If you want to learn more about the Monarch, you can go to aph.org, do a search for Monarch, and you can actually join our mailing list to get updates on a regular basis.